Hello, this is Needlepointers.com and today I'd like to show you how to make these cute heart ornaments. They're perfect for Valentine's Day. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is you take a piece of paper, you fold it in half, and you draw your heart on there and cut it out. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut another heart out the exact same size and then after you do that you're going to cut off around here that's so you can make the smaller heart you're going to cut around now I've already done that so I can show you here's my larger heart and my smaller heart the next thing, take some felt, place your heart design on the felt, and trace around it. Now you're going to want to cut two of these out. And as you see, I've folded the material, so I'm going to be cutting two of them at the same time. Okay. The next step would be to place, oh, and you're going to then cut out one heart out of the smaller heart template. You place the one heart, the small one, on the top of the large one and pin it in place. The next step is you are going to use a running stitch to stitch around the small heart to attach it to the large heart. Now I've done it, part of it already, you can see, and the running stitch is very easy. I'm using embroidery floss, um, six strands for mine. Uh, you can use other kinds of uh, sewing thread or whatever. To do the running stitch all you do is just put it in, the needle in and up, and pull it through. And you're doing the running stitch. And when you're finished with the running stitch all the way around, all you have to do is do a knot on the back. like so. And that's finished. Okay. After that, you're going to be pinning these together and taking some ribbon Placing it right in here at the top. And pin it in place. And pin your heart together. I've already done part of it, as you can see. And we're going to do the running stitch again all the way around. Make sure that you do a little stitch to hold the ribbon in place. And when you do this, you're going to start on the one side, go all the way around, and leave an opening because you want to put some stuffing in there. As you see, I have stuffing. All you do is place the stuffing in. You can make it <clears throat> as fat as you'd like or as a thinner if you want it not quite as fat. 
and you use that to the opening to put it in. Okay. Then you close the opening by continuing to do the running stitch. Now sometimes if you have trouble pulling it, you need a, like a little piece of rubber or something and that will help you pull it through, the needle through. Now to end this, what I did was I came up to in the middle here between the two pieces and then I tied a knot in here so you wouldn't see it on the back. Oh, I forgot to mention, if you want, you can decorate them. What you would do is if you were decorating them, after you've sewed on the, the uh, small heart, then put ever, what kind of decoration you want on it, like here I did a button, or you can do some beads, or you can just leave it plain. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make a heart ornament. Thank you for watching it. If you liked it, please like, like by clicking the like button. Also, share it with your friends and we also enjoy comments. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future videos. If you need craft, more craft information and free projects, visit our website needlepointers.com.